Sorry, buddy. Be a fun ends here. Call us a killjoy. Your scales are lovely, though. Do not falter. I am with you. Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. In the last episode, did not go so well. In all honesty, we unlocked another item of the seven and killed a few unique monsters in the overworld. However, now our attention quickly shifts to the life on the high seas. So, let's get it on. Our first person of interest is this guy, Brigador. He's a sea monster, and he looks like he he wants a hug. Yeah. We have all fists. Anyway, though, he is a big boy, and he's not the first time we've killed an enemy like this. But he's still probably one of the biggest boys in which we have yet to attack on the high seas. And honestly, I feel like at this particular time. He's definitely easier broken, toppled, and dazed, and, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, who'd have thought the flying enemies in this game are harder? Are harder to take advantage of. In the Zero Blade game, I cannot believe it. <laughs> the next thing you'll be telling me is that a dragon is one of the hardest enemies to kill. If this was Zimbrid 1, I believe you! Yeah. This game, not so much. Anyway. He's a sea dragon, though. Even though I think Triton would be sad we're missing out on taking things out on the high seas, but you know. Thank God, your killing days are over. That's our job now. <laughs> we're so goddamn happy about that. But now it's time to go on to another bit of prey. We're pirate hunters now. <laughs> We're finding pieces of the shard. We're finding that one piece. <laughs> Except we have no wrap. Made by four kids. My god, I have just unlocked PTSD for a lot of kids. It's either that or I could just say 1,000 episodes. <laughs> really? It's been going on that long? Yep. Yep. So if you want to start One Piece, well, uh, guess what? <laughs> you got a long way to go, kid. Got a long way to go. So this isn't the massive sea urchin, is it? How did you know? Well, I remember. He jumps up at us, doesn't he? Yeah. It's like... Uh... Or is it you? Is it him? The big seed wagon? No, it's an urchin. Yeah. Well. He's here somewhere. Urchie! Archie, where are you? <laughs> Come out so we can kill you, you stupid prick! Literally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally a prick. You're not the jumpy enemies want to see? No. <laughs> he, isn't, he isn't on the other side, is he? Over there, you mean? No, never mind. From a distance, I thought those crust tips were urchins. Weird observation, but still. There's a new daddy in town of killing. <laughs> and it's the girl with the gall. Or the boy with the ponytail. Or the MVP. Or plumage lady. Plumage lady. <laughs> or tactical tie-on. Or the marvelous Mio. Sensational Senna. The I'm trying to think of alliteration for lands. I would not be good at naming superheroes. <laughs> hmm. 
Riku, do you feel maybe you can make this boat not turn like shite? <laughs> Riku not make this boat. Salmon did. <laughs> Complain to Salmon, not Riku. Is that Otto breaking clams? I know. It's beautiful. Is this like and we've been killing them. Not by choice, though. No, but still, we've been killing Otto Blood is on our hands. <laughs> Hello, Sea Sharks. You tried to take Tyon with you, but you failed. <laughs> you are the worst Jaws ever. Quite a rare sight. Wait a minute, there he is. Oh. That's not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. I like how you just walk past him. No, I'm looking for an urchin. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I just... <laughs> it's like, all right, guys, going to be looking for unique monsters. <laughs> this, this Aluga. Please have like, hi. <laughs> I'm unique monster. Looking for me. It's like, no, not you. Not now. <laughs> Not now, unique monster. I'm looking for a unique monster. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think Alucas are just like a low key funny enemy to me, just based on their animations. Yeah. On that note, though, it is a shame that ice physics is not a thing in this game. I know. And they had an opportunity at the final battle of a weird place to put it. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, you never know. Maybe ice physics was just too much for the system to handle. I mean, granted, I wasn't expecting a Reaper CD to be like a massive ice lake. That would just be hilarious in game yeah, making. Yeah, would it be a lot more fun? It'd be a lot more fun to navigate. It would. And you just, like, you build up the physics and you just, you just jump out the map. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You go to Origin not by choice, but just because of physics. <laughs> <laughs> just Zed setting his feet going, What's that little missile flying from the ice caverns? Oh, oh Jesus Christ. And Mel would be like, I did this once back in my own world. Yeah! Can we fight paggles that are going nuts? <laughs> <laughs> we just... <laughs> and you just have like a cutscene in which they're just skating and just beating up Veronica's and everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, either way, he's dead. Away killing. Away killing? <laughs> Away killing. <laughs> Okay, that guy chuckle anime, not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, he's ours. Also fitting out the map. Nice. Slowly but surely. Yeah. This'll be a stream and a half if you ever just dig, if like just hunkered down and did it. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Twitch channel where we spend the next 10 hours doing every single inch. I'm sure some people have done that. Probably. That's not the perch with the urchin. Oh! Okay, fine, I guess he'll do. Oceanic Lucera. Kind of a generic name for the unique monster. Come on and fight me, you coward! Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! We're just running on the side of the cliffs, waving our arms, going, FIGHT ME! <laughs> Fingers and everything. You! Douche fossil! Yes, turn! Thank you! I say, turn! Accept your death! Let's see fire after everything at him, and eventually he will die. Then he gets a level up, everyone gets a level up, and ranks up for days. 
Hopefully with Noah, because... He wants to be a better fake Melly. <laughs> I mean, what is he at right now? He's at level six, so he's getting there. He's a slow grower. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it might be time to have a little bit of fun off screen. <laughs> I think there is one thing I want to at least try and show. All right, go for it. I'm not going to fight him. I'm going to try and find him. I know exactly what you're looking for. Well, you do. Well, <clears throat> if you're looking for what I think you are, the southeast of uh, this place is what you uh, want to go for. Yeah. Like Good luck. And plus, it would be nice to see a nice little callback. Yeah, it would. Anyway, onwards to a possible reference. And by possible, I mean a definite reference. <laughs> oh ho. Well. I think we found what we've been looking for. This is a place which we have not been to in this game yet. And for good reason. The Aegis Sea. Goes about saying what this is a reference to. Yep. But it makes me wonder though, what actually is here apart from the obvious? We have a massive sea dragon. But this guy though, he's a different kind of kettle of fish. To say the least. And this is an important instance for us because this is the first time, well, not really the first time, but we're, this is another of the Suwu bosses we have. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> this guy has a nice little effect. What's that? Uh, why spot a surprise? Ah, uh, <laughs> That would be telling. Is it a spike? No. It's not a spike. A little bit worse than that. A, a doom. No. No. But, you know. <laughs> Keeping things ominous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll... I like making my wife worry about what's to come. In game. In game, I should say. I don't go throughout our daily life saying, Ooh, honey, will we be able to pay rent this month? Ooh. <laughs> I feel like she would slap me if that was the case. Also, I do like this opportunity in which I would like to assume if you have an option to uh, do ground fights. Yeah. It's there, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But man, I, I do kind of wish one thing, though. You could have named this guy a Zerda. <laughs> or some, like, something similar. But then it'd feel like you'd be killing a Zerda. <laughs> oh, no. You could just make it seem like this was Gramps' ex-girlfriend. <laughs> He's come a long way from Akilos. <laughs> but you know, hey ho. But guys, I think with that, we're gonna end things off there. We've met an emperor of the sea. We will eventually take him down. Uh, better not spill any of this. But until then, get one last shot of Aoife, and we're gonna end things off here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, then please be sure to like it. If not, well then, meet Dwagon. <laughs> Go pet him, he likes hugs. But until then, guys, thank you for Every watching. We'll see you day. next time.